full body or full strength cigar. Most of us, if not all of us, have encountered this situation when we had to answer to that. It worsens when a fellow aficionado look us in the eyes and ask, do you smell charred meat? Do you taste orange peel? And you go numb. Not knowing what to answer, would you nod your head and get him to feel triumphant or doubt his judgment, embarrass him and embarrass yourself in front of other aficionados? To answer to that, we are hosting my partner Eli, the one expert in houdining extreme difficult cigar spots. What can you tell us, Eli? Thank you, Kasia. Thank you, no one would have put it better. As for my Houdini talents, I learned it from the master. Thank you. Let me brief you and the audience on what to do and say or not to do nor say. The body of a cigar is a straightforward matter. It's all about the texture, the fullness, the mass, not the weight, and the overall mouse nose feel. On the other hand, the strength is nothing but the nicotine levels in a cigar and the sensing of it and the effect of absorbing nicotine. Point. Point? Point. No, not point. There is a notion here, Eli. It is truly the level of nicotine contained in a stick or is it the label strengths attributed to the cigar by the manufacturer or is it the tolerance of the smoker to nicotine? Quite confusing, Carson. Thank you for raising the point. Nevertheless, nicotine is best detected through our retronasal system. In plain English, one can inhale the smoke from the mouth and reversibly through the nose canal and out. Strength is also sensed by the cigar effects on our gastric system and the blood rush into our veins. Some are sensitive to nicotine, moi, while other smokers have high tolerance to it, gas. Something that deeply affects our way of smoking. For instance, I'm a slow burner while Qasim is an industrial burner. Thank you. It is to note here that both body and strength are qualified mild, medium, or full, or in between. Eli, so far, it sounds like science. It's not science. It is definitely a tangible observation. I mean the body and the strength. But what about charred meat and orange peel? all these bohemian matrices of aromas and flavors. Truly, Eli, what is it that makes an aficionado diverges aromas and uncover flavors like a behike Hello. in a spiritually inspiring ritual of self-healing, if not ridiculous? <laughs> we have to admit we all sound talking a hieroglyphic language when listing the layers of flavors in a cigar. True, Qasim. Los Osos has spent a complete year researching in depth the correlation between the following aromas and flavors. The basic flavors and the derivatives up to the cloud, the impact of terroir, the soil, the climate and the multiple fermentation of a leaf, the aging of the leaf, the aging of the cigar, etc, etc, etc. Not to mention our mood, Hajj, the ambient milieu, exactly. our palate, all affects directly and indirectly, contributes directly and indirectly to our sensing aromas and flavors. Eli, are you telling the brothers and the sisters of the leaf that they have to become scientists in order to enter the world of cigars? Not at all, Qasim, not at all. There are two types of cigar smokers, the purists and the geeks and both equally enjoy their smoking experience. The purist, who does not bother himself talking about it, he is a layback, enjoy and tetwa kind of people. And the geek, the enthusiast, the aficionado who won't rest until the stick has been dissected, scrutinized in every aspect, and he enjoys it. Noted, Eli, remain to brief our audience on the making of our Wheel of Flavors subject of our episode. In a few words, how did we, Los Osos, reinvented the wheel? What intrigued it all? 
Was it our geek side? Was it the not so convincing published wheels? Was the evolution of the industry? Let me answer that a bit of all. Ah. Los Osos Wheel of Flavors was drafted in a conventional way. Four basic flavors, sweet, spice, sour, bitter. We are not going to undertake a course in chemistry and food science. We are going to quote few flavors and explain the derivations, seeds, roots, and origins, all in flavors, aroma, simple terms. Let me display two basic flavors out of the basic four. The immediate derivatives of sourness, for instance, and according to the handbook of fruits and vegetables flavors, are lemon and apple. Both are fleshy and simple fruits, contrary to aggregate and multiple fruits, with citrus, the sour, dominant flavor. While we see that banana and fig and nuts and other fleshy, simple fruits fall under creamy and deriving from sweetness. Why? The answer by chemists is fruit flavor is made up of sugars, acids, salts, bitter compounds such as alkaloids and flavonoids and aroma volatiles. Eli, we thank you very much for the boring course in fruit science. What Eli is trying to say, based on thousands of pages from publications, we came to understand that the composition of flavor aroma components in a cigar is a pure science. Complicated, complex, but it is science. We don't have the luxury of time here, Eli, to dive into every and each derivative from the four basics shown on the Los Osos Wheel of Flavor. Nevertheless, we would be pleased to discuss every and each of those classifications. Remain to highlight an important notice. One, knowing the four basic flavors is a must. Two, knowing the eight flavors deriving from the four basics is just enough to be an aficionado. Three, knowing the 16 flavors will establish you as a connoisseur. Do you really want to be one? Not necessarily. Four, Knowing the 32 flavors makes you a cigar nerd. Drop it. Five, knowing the 100 notes plus on the cloud of the wheel makes you an alien. Good Hajj, now that we have established that flavors and aromas exist and they all derive according to classification, what is left Hajj? is to explain and in simple words how we aficionados are going to detect those proven flavors. How are we going to benefit from the wheel of flavors? How could we possibly train ourselves to enhance our smoking experience by sensing every shred, layer, note of flavor extruded from our cigar? Now you are talking, Eli. Let me help you here and in brief as mentioned before, dozens of factors affect your tasting buds receptivity to flavors. It all starts with awareness and we have established it with this also wheel. Second is our physical and mindset. Are we rested, calm, ready to enjoy and relax and live the moment? Finally, let me add, is our palate alerted, sharpened, Unobstructed, meaning did we kill it with too heavy, fatty, greasy, spicy food or drink? Or on the contrary, are we functioning on empty stomach? When all the above points are checked, relax and lay back and remember it's all about enjoyment. Do not indulge yourself in loud conversations or agitated discussions. Take everything other than your cigar as they come, fluently. Also, it is advisable to be in a warm, humid milieu, outside weather conditions, not too dry or too cold or too humid, windy, etc., will affect the illness of your cigar, meaning the wrapper will crack, burn will double, smoke will distort, depriving you from any aromas. Conclusively, and when all conditions are at par, the flavors will eventually surface Hajj. Just remember, 
The flavors of cigar are merely shades, traces, notes. Do not expect a fresh cup of coffee when detecting toasted coffee beans. When explaining the process for France, I use simple words, as you always wish, Kasse. If you add orange juice to apple juice, you will relatively easy still be able to detect both flavors. When adding carrots to the mix, you will probably still be able to detect the three flavors. But if you add 10 more fruits to the mix and dilute all in mineral water and sprinkle it with spices and salt, then you really need all the tools we listed above to detect any trace or note of the early two components, the orange and the apple. I love you, Ali, when you go simple. Thank you. Is it a cross chapter? Did we entertain this topic completely? Hell no, we have just touched the tip of the iceberg. What we did today, Eli, was an introduction, an emphasis on the importance of enjoying the aromas and the flavor in our stick. To conclude, if until today you feel neutral to whether it is essentially complementing to smoking a cigar and enjoy its flavors, it is time you reconsider. Until then, please follow, follow us. us.